Hello everyone, it's Dr. Foremaster and welcome to a new Google SketchUp speed building video. So today I'm building a New York architecture office, um, which I personally think turned out to be my best Google SketchUp video ever. Well, not per se the video, but mainly the, the building I think turned out to be really cool. Maybe you've seen a preview of it on the thumbnail already. I personally think it really turned out to be cool. And, you know, of course, the what it's meant to be is pretty cool. It's a, an architect office in New York, which is like pretty cool. Waking up every day, first going to Starbucks uh, after living in your apartment um, or penthouse, actually, in the middle of New York and then working on some cool skyscrapers that you will be building in New York. That idea is kind of fancy. But um, yeah, I didn't really intend this to be an office, but uh, when I started building, it really did not feel like a house. So I thought, you know, I can better turn this into an office. It really turned out to be too, uh, you know, too architectural, too, um, yeah, how can I say it? Yeah, it was just too special to be a house, kind of. It was like very modern and the part that makes it uh, not a house, am I adding at the moment, actually. It's a very cool roof part, which, it's really something I've never seen in my own life, but uh, which I do really think of that it's pretty cool. So I hope you like it too. I personally think it turned out to be pretty cool and it made this house what it is actually, well, this building what it is. And um, yeah, I must say that I really enjoyed building this house. Um, I actually always enjoy making Google SketchUp videos, um, but the house is done. Well, actually the houses turn out to look pretty cool in the end, um, like almost always, but yeah, I felt like this was really my favorite uh, building so far. And I'm actually really planning on making more of these videos in the future. I know I say that every time I upload a new one, but I must say that it takes some time to upload these and you really need some inspiration to be able to build um, or build houses like these. I want to do something a little bit different every time. And that, you know, in The Sims 4, for some reason, it's you can't really do too much of uh, anything different. So. Um, then you don't really feel like you have, well, I don't have to, but you don't really feel like you want to. But with Google SketchUp, you can actually really, yeah, do something different every time. And then I try to do that, but that takes some time. But it has been less than, a, well, it has been less than a month since the last one, which was the Ibiza. Yeah, I still don't know how people in English uh, pronounce it. I saw a comment about it, but I forgot what the comment said. So... Yeah, thank you for replying if you did, but um, sorry, I forgot what you said. But um, it was like, I think, uh, you know, a bit uh, a villa. I think I will just pronounce it like that in the Dutch, um, you know, bad English way. Um, but yeah, um, that one turned out to be pretty epic and was uploaded less than a month ago. So I am actually making some progress since the video before that was actually uploaded like two months uh, before that. So that was like way too long. But in this case, um, yeah, I must say that I'm very happy that I can actually make these videos. I must also say that my uh, PC can't handle The Sims 4 at the moment anymore. And as I've said very many times, I'm really waiting for my new PC. I've actually ordered it or like I'm very close to the ordering part uh, currently because of course I have to sort things out with what I want to have in it. I'm building it myself, which is the first time ever I'm doing that. And it is pretty expensive and kind of an investment. So. You know, you really have to think about it, but the idea that I can actually, uh, you know, buy a computer like that, just upgrade it because of YouTube is really uh, like something awesome. So I would like to say thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity or at least, you know, watching the videos, making this channel something that um, I personally think is pretty awesome um, and um, can be even more awesome in the future with this new PC. Um, the quality will go up and um, hopefully also the Google SketchUp uh, uh, videos will go up in quality. But mainly The Sims 4 to be honest because those, uh, well that game just didn't run at all anymore. But um, I must say that I was pretty happy too to see that people were actually subscribed for my Google SketchUp videos. So now and then I just uh, scroll around my subscribers and just see who they are and what they are subscribed for, at least which videos they like and what they upload themselves. And then I saw like someone who actually uh, made um, Google SketchUp videos himself and I thought, well, pretty cool that this person probably subscribed for these kind of videos. Um, and I must say that, um, yeah, that's, what I really like about Google SketchUp too, it's really something different. Um, and you can be like very creative with it, which is also something I really like. Um, I must say though that 
and the coming um yeah the coming time i will try to upload a new speed build maybe for uh, before the end of the year already but I'm, i am very busy currently with school you know ending uh well you know just trying to end the year um and we do have christmas and all that kind of stuff so i really have to get everything started out but uh, i will try to upload as many videos in december as i can december is always like a nice month so i would like to make it a nice youtube month too uploading a lot for you um just you know some cool videos and um yeah i hope you will like that but of course i am busy so i will have to um check out how i'm going to do that but um, i think it will work out so as you can see here um we actually have the shape of the building already and at the top of course you see that roof which i've created which i think really turned out to be awesome but um yeah please let me know what you think of it um do you like that do you think it's like way too strange i'm not sure but i personally think it turned out to be uh, pretty cool that roof part over there and as i said it's uh, a new york architect office which means that i had to kind of make the environment look like it's new york and that's actually the first time i'm doing that normally i'm not really someone who creates the uh, you know the setting of a house uh, in google sketchup because i didn't really know what to do with it and you know, building skyscrapers, I thought that would be too difficult or too hard. But in the end, it actually turned out that you can, like, build skyscrapers in, uh, well, you know, very simple skyscrapers in Google SketchUp pretty easily, just making some high rectangles, but it did turn out to look cool. Here I actually tried to do what I did with the Dubai house or a bank, but then I found out that it would, like, take way too long. Dubai, uh, well, Dubai bank is not a, as long as a word. Is it? No, well, it's just a little bit shorter, I think. But anyways, um, yeah, I thought I did it there already. I need something new, so I changed that or actually just deleted it. Um, so yeah, I've not added like a miniature sky uh, skyline to the name of this building. Um, and I must say that I pretty like, uh, I pretty like, I, li um, I really like building like, uh, public areas as i said i've already built um a bank or kind of an imaginary bank in dubai now i've built an architect office um in new york um and i've actually built my own imaginary office or kind of dream office it was actually my first ever um google sketchup speed build and that is where it has all started um and also adding like a location to it really uh, creates a little bit of a sp more special feel when I'm actually building it. So I also really like building the Ibiza uh, uh, Villa. Um, what did I do? And um, yeah, I've just built very many modern houses, which are also always very cool to create. But um, something that is meant to be on location is uh, just creates a special feel uh, while I'm actually building. So um, actually, like I think two days ago, my uh for, uh well not the first one but one of the google sketchup speed builds passed the 100,000 views here on youtube which is like insane because many of my sims videos don't even get that amount i think it's in this the top four right now of my best viewed videos which is awesome and it also turns out to show up when you search for like google sketchup speed build and stuff which is probably the reason why um yeah people or at least that many people have seen it but um yeah it's really awesome to see that very many people like it um and very many people just respond on it like nicely so i like that um so what did i also want to say about that yeah and the fact that people watch it means that people actually also like it probably and that more people will or want to see it which is also another reason why i will be uh, able to make more of these videos if more people watch it I will, of course, you know, views are, sometimes people say like, yeah, YouTubers only think about views. Well, I personally don't only think about views, but of course, thinking about views is kind of something important because if something gets views, views you know, whether people like it or not, and whether you can indeed put uh, more effort into it than uh, you would normally do if it wouldn't get that many views. So it is kind of important. Of course, you wouldn't, shouldn't only think about views in the form of money because that's, Someone starting YouTube for money is like meant to not be a success because I personally see this as like an something that kind of, you know, how do you say that in English? And um, 
I just started doing this because I thought, you know, I can try that someday. And I didn't even know what subscribers were when I started. I didn't even know that you could make money with it. Now I do. And people are like, well, I want to have such an easy job too. Well, you know, if you start YouTube with that intention, you should definitely not start with it. Because then that will just bring the value of YouTube with such awesome creators like... I personally don't really watch too many Sims videos. I watch quite a, many of them just so I know what is actually kind of currently cool to make and stuff. But I personally really like to watch Trevor videos. They really inspire me. Uh, so people like Devin Supertram, Fun for Louis, Ben Brown, um, uh, Jack Gap really make cool uh, Trevor videos. So um, yeah, Trevor videos are uh, videos I personally really like to watch. Um, how did I actually start with that? I think that's, I don't know. Um, yeah, those are just people who inspired me. And uh, regarding Sims, I was just inspired by Krill Sim Free, Curtis Parody, and uh, The Sim Supply. Those were the, uh, they were the reason why I started just trying out. And then I was like, well, this is fun. And I continued and yeah, now we are here just some background information of the channel but not very many people might uh, watch the um the sims videos i make because this is a google sketchup video obviously so this is kind of a different audience i think but yeah maybe they also like that so as you can see here i'm adding the wall paintings or the coloring to the house the building which i think um, made it look uh, much better sometimes it's hard to add uh, the coloring to it but in this case it wasn't truly made it look better sometimes it doesn't but in this case it did which is great um and uh, in the end i also add some plans but you will see i decided to go for a little bit more of a dark look as you can see here because i thought you know like an architect office is kind of something fancy and you know a little bit of a darker color is pretty fancy so i decided to use many what uh, kind of darker grays but um, it didn't make it look like depressing. It just made it look fancy in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you think the same. Um, at the back of the house, we'll just add the same colors, but then in a different way. And of course, in the middle, we have that like that turquoise, which I don't know what, how to pronounce it, but turquoise, a color, which I think, you know, it's between blue and green. And uh, I personally think that looks pretty cool at this house. I've never added that color to a house before. And if I, you know, something bright is also something that I personally see uh, like something that fits uh, a, an architect office. So I did add that and I think it made it look like just a little bit more different again. Um, so as you can see here, we're just finishing up uh, some colors here. Uh, I actually forgot to record. So here I just did some very small bad uh, time lapse just to show what I did. And then here I will be adding the skyscrapers which um, went as easy as you see it over here. This is like the most advanced skyscraper actually that I've added. And I was like, should I add colors or should I add like some uh, sketched colors? Um, and I, in the end, went for a combination actually. But just adding some boxes at the back of or in the background made it look like it was located in New York and which made it look even cooler. So yeah, I personally think it's uh, turned out to look awesome, this building. So. Um, just adding some last things, adding a tree, I think, and then we are done. So there we go. Uh, and also in the end, I will actually add some render. So right, like in two seconds. So thanks for watching this video. As you can see, here are the screenshots. I hope you uh, like the the overall end looking, looking uh, the end look of the um, the New York office. I personally think. It's pretty cool. Um, so if you'd like to see more of these videos, please let me know and then I will make more of them. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you back later.